hey hi guys welcome back to our channel so in today's video we will see that whenever we create a spring boot application and try to save the logs for that particular application then sometimes we get this error that logging system failed could not initialize log back logging for the class path this so let's see that what this error is and how to remove this error so guys for this particular application i am using maven as my build tool but solution would be same for any kind of build tool either that would maybe maybe in gradle or whatever build tool you are using so let's see that what this error is and how to remove this first of all let's go to our pom.xml file and you can go to your build.gradle file there you can see that when you uh, created a spring application then you might have added some dependencies like uh, uh, the basic dependency would be the spring boot starter dependency and the second basic dependency uh, would be like I'm creating this application for my BAV. So I've added an application for the starter BAV. Now guys, there is one word called log back. So whenever you create a basic spring application and add these dependencies, spring boot starter or spring boot starter BAV, then by default, there is a logger downloaded bit them. And the name of that logger is log back. That's why it's showing error that you are using that it's unable to specify log back using the log 4j so you can use one kind of logging in your application either you can do it with the help of the log back or you can do it with the help of the log 4j so for this particular application as you can see that i've already added the dependencies for my log 4j that is log 4j api and log 4j core so I want to use log 4j instead of this log back or the default that is downloaded with the spring boot starter or spring boot starter bab. So what I will do is I will keep these dependencies for the log 4j and will exclude this log back dependencies. So how to do that? What you have to do is you have to simply create a new attribute dependency. Now here it is asking for the group ID and artifact ID. So group ID would be the same that is org.springframework.boot. So copy this, paste it in the group ID. Now I've already told you that uh, the logback is downloaded with two parent dependencies. One is for the Spring Boot starter web and another one is the Spring Boot starter. So we have to remove from both uh, means we have to exclude this log back from both the dependencies. So what we will do is first we will try to remove it for this particular web. So we'll copy its artifact ID. I will paste it over here. Now within this there is one more tag called exclusions and within the exclusion you have to write exclusion. Now again it is asking for the group ID and artifact ID. So our group ID again would be same that is log.springframework.boot copy this and now our artifact id would be spring boot starter logging so basically this would be our so for spring boot starter web we have excluded this default logging now copy the same uh, let me copy see and paste it over here now we want to remove it for the spring boot starter so we will type we will simply change the artifact ID and we will type spring boot starter yeah guys so we have removed the logging for the boot let me just uh, build it again and if you don't get that icon you can simply go to maven or gradle and simply click on this reload all maven projects so it will reload and let's try to run our application now and let's see if the error goes or not so it is building our application yeah guys now you can see that my application has started successfully on port 8080 and my all the errors are gone so hope you might have got that what was the reason behind this error I might be able to solve this. So this was for the uh, 
neighbor file for the gradle file i will add uh, this particular block of code in the description section you can simply copy it from there and paste it in your form.xml or build.gradle file thank you guys and if you find this video helpful please hit subscribe and like button thank you